With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Everyone, so we are given with the question which says if pressure at half the depth of a lake is two third the pressure at the bottom of the lake, then what is the depth of the lake? So we need to calculate the depth of the lake by using the condition that has been given. So let's try to visualize the uh, conditions assume that uh, the there is a lake of depth capital H so on its free surface we know atmospheric pressure has been acting all right P naught and at every every layer of the waters uh, inside the lake uh, atmospheric pressure is acting along with the gauge pressure all right gauge pressure is nothing but uh, we have studied in the theory part it is ro uh, by formula we can write it as rho g h so uh, in the first part it says pressure at half half the depth so let's suppose that we are talking about this layer and which is at a distance of h by 2 so at this distance uh, we can write the pressure so we can write pressure at half depth can be given as atmospheric pressure is acting on all the layers uh, and plus gauge pressure that is rho g h by 2 all right so this is nothing but this is the gauge pressure and gauge pressure means the pressure which is created by the liquid all right this is the total pressure on the liquid and this is the gauge pressure means the pressure which is exerted by the liquid so uh, we have to be careful with that so let's say this is our equation one so uh, similarly uh, we can write pressure at bottom can be written as P naught that is atmospheric pressure plus rho g h this time because the depth is h capital H. Also, let's say this is our equation number two. So we have been given the condition that is pressure at half the depth is equals to uh, two third the pressure at the bottom. So this is the condition. So let's substitute the value. Uh, P h by two can be written as P naught plus of rho g h by two plus of uh, that is equals to 2 by 3 pH can be written as P naught plus of rho g h and if we solve it further we can say uh, P naught minus of 2 by 3 P naught and that's equals to uh, 2 by 3 rho g h minus of rho g h by 2 alright so this is the uh, we have just uh, manipulated the terms here and there and we have got this result all right so uh, solving it further we can uh, write this can be written as p naught by 3 and here it can be written as 4 minus 3 uh, that is rho g h by 6 all right so so from here uh, we have to substitute uh, the value and we can calculate the value of h so here it can be written as 2 into p naught uh, divided by rho into g and that that gives us the value of h so uh, on substituting this value we can write uh, 2 into p naught can be written as atmospheric pressure uh, value is nothing but 1.01 into 10 raised to 5 pascal or newton per uh, meter square divided by uh, rho uh, for water that is for density of water can be taken as 1000 kg per meter cube so let's write it as 10 raised to 3 over here and uh, we can take the acceleration due to gravity as 10 only so this gives us the depth so solving it further we can get the value of hs uh, this can be written as 10 raised to 1 uh, 2.02 2.02 into 10 so which gives us the value as therefore we can say h is equals to approximately 20 meters so this is the right answer to this question so depth of the lake is 20 meter which matches with option b so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today